Now, this is how we can stop incoming calls on Android. Let's get into it. So you have a few options. The simple ones basically include to turn on the airplane mode and naturally just disconnect yourself from the world. It is possible and it will prevent any incoming calls, but also any other connections. So perhaps that might not be ideal. Besides that, another cool option, which a lot of people use and I do myself is the do not disturb mode. So if you open up the settings and then find the notifications, you can find a do not disturb and you have some different schedules and whatnot, but essentially when you have the turn on, uh, turn on the do not disturb, you can choose what happens with calls and messages and you can choose the calls to be from everyone, contacts only, favorites only, or none. And when you choose the none, it just means that nobody will be able to call you and incoming calls will be simply blocked and stopped during the do not disturb mode being turned on. Naturally, you can also just control it from the control center right there and enable it whenever you want, right? And just get a peace of mind if you really need that. So that's basically how it works using the simple methods. However, if you wanna go a little bit deeper, what you can do is from the settings, from the apps view, if you find the phone app, you can tap on it and get inside more like settings and whatnot. And tapping on the notification allows you to not completely dis, uh, disable them, but you can at least make them silent or make them not as a pop-up or just take up the whole screen, just silently, silently delivered as a background notification, even though it's a regular phone call. So you can also perform this if you want to, but yeah, I mean, I would personally stick with the do not disturb as it's completely fine and really functional, but you know, you can go a bit further if you wish. So that's it. That's everything I wanted to show you. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up to let me know about it and subscribe for more so you'll never miss future tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot and I'll see you then.